as the fighting continues in Syria, so does, of course, the suffering of its people. Food, water, medicine, all in short supply. And with winter approaching, charities are warding of a humanitarian disaster. Our diplomatic editor, James Bays, is live at the UN for us. Some grim warnings there, James. Grim warnings, and that is the focus today, I think, on Syria and on the humanitarian situation in Syria. It's a crisis now that's been going on for two and a half years. Ban Ki-moon, the UN Secretary General, when he spoke here in recent hours, said that now some seven million Syrians had been displaced from their homes. He said that was a third of the total population in Syria, a real difficulty for those that are trying to help those people, both inside Syria and outside Syria. Let's talk uh, to one of the key players. I'm joined by the executive director of WFP, the World Food Programme, Eartha and Cousin. Can I ask you first, how bad have things got? Thank you very much. Things are continuing to escalate and simply get worse. We're feeding 3 million people inside Syria today. We're increasing that number to 4 million by the end of October because there are actually 5.8 million people who are in need of assistance inside Syria. We're feeding another 1.2 million, moving to 1.5 million outside Syria in the five neighboring countries because there, now there are 2 million people who have sought refuge in those countries outside Syria. So the situation continues to escalate. Yet yeah, in the building behind us, deadlock. They can't make progress on a uh, political way forward, on, on, on the military track, trying to stop the fighting. Are you frustrated that so little has been done trying to help you on the humanitarian side? And what will you be saying to world leaders you meet? I don't have the luxury of being frustrated because the people who we work for depend upon us to just be forthright and to continue to demand that the, the political community, the political leadership demand that there be humanitarian access because we can reach all 14 governments across all the lines in Syria, but inside each of those communities, there are pockets where we haven't had access to women and children and seniors who are in need of our assistance for months in some cases. What that means is that as we're going into winter, we have the possibility that you have children who are suffering from chronic malnutrition and hunger. And what we don't want in Syria is to escalate a conflict into a famine. How dangerous is it for your staff because you're on the ground working there in Syria? It's extremely dangerous because we say there are three zones in Syria. There are the regime-held areas, the opposition-held areas, and the conflict-held areas. In the regime and the opposition, we can get into those areas and help people. The conflict area where the fight, fighting's going on, that's where it's extremely dangerous. And what happens is our trucks are being shot at on a regular basis. And then we can't enter to provide assistance. All of this work costs so much money. Tell me, you don't have the money yet for this year. This year is coming to, the, to an end. Where are you going to get more money from? What are you going to be saying to all these countries? This operation is costing us $30 million per week, and we estimate about $40 million per week starting in October. That means that while donors have been extremely generous, we've been spending the money as fast as it comes in. And the U.S., the U.K., the EU, Germany, Canada, Canada so many of the traditional donors have been right there to ensure that people don't go hungry. But we need the entire global community to support this effort because this is a global problem. Catherine Cousin of the World Food Programme, the Executive Director of the World Food Programme, talking to us here on Al Jazeera. We've heard this so many times. The situation on the ground in Syria is getting worse. But here at the United Nations, politically anyway, around the Security Council table, there remains deadlock on most issues.